and then we crank it up to high once we put the chicken salad uh, on the table and we fire it up to get the pizza warm. This is just going to be a scorcher tomorrow. Uh, we will have winds that will be just, mm, just hot. It's like turning on a hairdryer. It really doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that to your scalp? Dylan? <laughs> scalp. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Why would you do that to your scalp? It's time to make sure you've got lots of cool air and you got a light colored piece of clothing on if you're going to be outdoors. There should be some water around and you should find some air conditioning, especially for our older friends and our pets. Let's take care of them. We're going to have some thunder showers push across the area into tomorrow afternoon. But we have that hot wind to begin with in the morning and it just doesn't make us any cooler throughout the day. So for this afternoon, here's your first alert Viper forecast hot and we have that excessive heat warning, which is in effect for the western side of the state. So if you're traveling uh, between the windmills and Boise from American Falls, there's no cool air. Things aren't moving. It's going to be 105 in Boise today at the governor's house, 88 in Mackey, and it'll be upwards of 96 to 97 degrees between Salmon and Chalice, 85 into the parks and the mountain communities with a little bit of a cool down. Those winds are going to shift to be from the southwest. It will be 92 for the afternoon. Grab a scooter along the Great Snake and catch a breeze. My little girl did that yesterday. Didn't come over here. Uh, my daughter, you, you rode a bird. Come over here quickly. I only have a limited amount of time. The, Abby, you rode the scooter yesterday? Yes, yeah, I and did. You, got, you were attacked by a squirrel, weren't you? No, I almost killed a squirrel. Okay, we don't tell people that. Well, thank you so much. That's, she is nuts. It's going to be 96 in Pocatello for the afternoon. Uh, we have some hot conditions into Wednesday, and it will cool off into Thursday and Friday. Temperatures will be hot and sunny, and we'll be back into the mid-90s by the weekend into Pocatello as well. It'll be 100 degrees Wednesday into Pocatello after a 96 degree. I don't think you can feel the. This is like being 15 degrees in the winter. You just can't feel it after that number. Oh, yes. it, 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 I mean, just, just peel me like a potato and make me a French fry. 99 for Blackfoot, hot winds. I need some cold water. Rexburg, 94 and about 97 tomorrow. We get a little bit of a cool off with the passage of a system, but it's still going to be hotter than salmon at 99 <laughs> with a... 30% chance of a rumble of thunder. You may find some coolness into Jackson, 87 degrees and about 90 into Wednesday. And then we'll see temperatures at 88. Come over here. I want you to apologize to the squirrel. I'm sorry, squirrel. All right. Thank you very much. Back to you, Dylan. <laughs> All right. Thank you.